In November, Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed a package of bills placing the state on a track to radically change how we generate energy. The aim to protect our air, land and water for our future generations. Michigan now has a goal of 100 percent clean energy by 2040. I spoke with the Michigan Environmental Council asking them what this means for Michiganders. Oh, just 20 years ago, we were still uh, Michigan itself was still um, considering a number of coal plants to be built in our state. Now, just 20 years later, which in the grand scheme of our history is very small, you know, the end of coal is going to arrive within the next couple of years. And I just think that that sort of transitional shift is really puts like this moment into perspective for us. That shift coming in the form of the Michigan Healthy Climate Plan signed by Governor Whitmer on November 28th, 2023. The laws call for 50% of the state's energy to be generated from renewable sources by 2030, just six years away. And by 2040, 100% of our energy needs to be green. It's a change that Bo Brockett with the Michigan Environmental Council says won't be immediately recognizable. When you think about 100% clean energy, it feels a little bit abstract, a little bit vague, much like how climate change can feel, feel very abstract for us. Um, but I think people will be able to see it in very real ways. Those ways could start small with individual homes taking the first steps. You might see more like rooftop solar panels in your neighborhood, um, wind turbines going up in communities. So when you flip on the switch in your house, um, by 2035, it'll no longer be powered by coal. Um, everything will be transitioning over to renewable energy resources and then natural gas as kind of a last resort. Carly Knott, the Energy and Climate Policy Coordinator for the Michigan Environmental Council, had a hand in Governor Whitmer's latest climate legislation, meeting with legislators hundreds of times within the last year. We were involved pretty much every step of the way with our advocacy. Our goal is pretty much trying to get the strongest environmental standards that these bills could have. While the clean energy goals took the headlines, the Michigan Environmental Council says there will be other benefits, including our health. The new legislation means that um, the fossil fuel plant that I would run, run races uh, cross country races right next to uh, and breathe in that air is going to go away. That means I'll see better air quality in my hometown, which is just a few miles away. Wind turbines and solar panels expected to keep money in our pockets. Not only is renewable energy the, the cheapest energy in the world right now, um, some of these climate laws that we have enacted will help put in place um, better energy efficiency measures and uh, which will help in turn lower costs in our homes. The laws also provides more support to challenge utility companies to meet the green energy standards. This legislation could also add jobs to the state. Modeling a report done by a few folks within the environmental sphere that said that we could be seeing you know, thousands of clean energy jobs being created in the next few decades. For more information on Governor Whitmer's legislation and the Michigan Environmental Council, visit our website, fox17online.com. In studio, Haley Vaughn, Fox 17 News.